as a corollary to the travel advisory uh, what impact is going to have on events like IPL because it involves a lot of travel from abroad? So, you know, uh, we are also um, analyzing a lot of requests of this nature that sports uh, events that are being held in India and something linked to a mega event which has already been planned. So how do you deal with this? So I think it's for the organizers to, 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 to decide as to whether they want to go ahead with it or not. Uh, and then... I think we'll be open to the idea. If they really want to do it, uh, our advice would be not to do it at this time. But if they still want to go ahead, it's their decision. Uh, uh, the advisory yesterday talked about um, allowing essential travel. What constitutes essential travel? If you could give us a, maybe a checklist or something. Because people are asking whether wedding constitutes an essential travel, m medical emergencies, uh, employment issues. If you could give us a checklist... Uh, general checklist? Normally, you don't have a defined criteria for that, but I think we will leave it to the uh, our ambassadors and the HOMs in the missions to ascertain for themselves as to what is that essentiality or the compelling reason. So I think the guidelines clearly said it's a compelling reason uh, that would uh, be decided uh, by maybe the respective missions to say, maybe, for example, health reasons, there is a sickness in the family, if someone wants to come, or there's a wedding. So that, I think, we would like to leave it to the missions to decide. 